Thanksgiving Day, November 23rd, 2023. Thanksgiving isn't quite what it used to be. The older generation has passed. And uh, we're, we're without children at the, at the moment. This is, this is the garden area today. You might think it looks a little bleak, but I see all the promise for the summer of 2024. If you, if you wonder, this black cloth is a woven weed cloth that I got from Grower Solutions. They're not paying me for this. I'm just, just saying it's nice stuff. It really does stop weeds and grass from coming up. And to clean it, I just take the leaf blower and blow it off. Yeah. The old cart, that's where I mix up soil, put it in the buckets. That's where my grandparents' house stood. My cousin bought that piece of property and built a new house on it, which was fine. The old house had been built during the Depression, and the materials used, well, they weren't, they were Depression-era materials. They, they weren't going to last four centuries. John Deere's at the ready. This is how the lord of the manor gets on the tractor. He brings his power chair up this little path we've stoned onto the ramp, parks his chair and pivots right onto the deck of the tractor, and off he goes. Works really well. When you have to find a way to keep doing things, you find a way. You can see the green up in there. That's all the implements for the tractor, the attachments, whatever you want to call them. Yes, Thanksgiving Day, it's about 50 degrees. So I thought Deuce and I should come out and just do a little check, see what's going on. I have to make one more pass with the uh, heavy-duty mower, the Husqvarna. The John Deere attachments tucked safely away in the woods. I do think one more pass with the uh, heavy mower will finish getting the leaves chopped up and ready. have a couple of things that didn't happen this year, 2023, one of which was getting that fallen cherry tree off the stone fence and into the wood yard. It'll happen eventually. The back of the house. The old picnic table that my father built. Now dad's been gone since 1983 and I've kept the picnic table but I think it's perhaps time. I never come up here and sit anymore. So uh, the wood's rotting so it, it's time. We'll uh, get that on the burn pile sometime in the spring take care of that. Makes me sad, but uh, it's time. I like my stone fence. One of the things I had wanted to do when I retired was start stacking it back up. 
and uh, I made a stay about it, but it didn't get too far. There always seems to be something that needs to be done, but it's on my radar. There's the wood piles. That's this year's wood, which I don't even know if I'm going to get all of that burned. And then we have next year's wood. And we have Deuce the Wonder Dog. Deuce, say hello. He's sniffing. He can smell where all the little critters have been running around. Oh yes, boy dog. We have to let him know that he's here. This is all maple from where they cut down the leaning maple. It's what's left of the mulch pile. We had them chip all the brush up so we didn't have to burn it. And uh, we've already moved some of that mulch to some different places. This is going to be where we move our shooting range. It's down front right now. But uh, we're going to build a regular backstop. And uh, since we have the tractor, we're going to level this out. Right there where all that mulch is, I dug out a big stump. And uh, just put it in with mulch so it would, uh, this winter would, you know, rot down and fill in. We'll level that off better, too, in the spring. The tractor makes so many things possible. We have new neighbors. I would love to see them come up here and take care of that old tree house that was up here three residences ago. Um, it's not on my property. If it was on my side of the property line, it would have been long gone. But uh, like I say, new neighbors. And no, those cars down there are not for Thanksgiving. Those cars are there all the time. So I don't know how many people are actually living in that house. But probably come summer I can figure it out. This is what's left of the wood pile from taking down the leaning maple tree and everything else that came down with it. Uh, I've been working at it. My cousin's been helping. We're getting there. Believe it or not, it won't take too many more days work to have the rounds cut. I don't know if we're going to get to splitting it, but... Uh, We'll get, get the rounds done. Deuce loves these little walks. He gets to sniff and sniff and sniff. I'm keeping a couple of rounds. I'm going to place them strategically. That's where, if, when I'm out here working, I can lay my gloves and my glasses and earphones. Set the chainsaw down in front of it. Between those two trees, it's highly unlikely that I'm going to run over them with the tractor. So that's why I did that. That's an old tree. I don't think it's going to be any good for firewood. I'm going to take the chainsaw to it, cut it, and see what we actually have on the inside. If nothing else, it can go in the burn pile. Another strategically placed round where I can sit, watch the fire, if I'm not in the pickup. Pickup's a lot more comfortable. Long view of the house in the garden area. Just take a little walk down. This is what we call the tractor path, which is generally how we bring the tractor up into this area. 
It's a little bendy, but we didn't want to cut any trees down. We just kind of made our way through them. have a lot of down limbs and branches and small pieces to pick up in the spring. That'll be another brush pile that I'll burn. Come on, Ducey. Are you coming? Come on. He's a really good dog. He doesn't wander off. He just wanders. He'll be okay as long as he can keep an eye on him on me. He's fine. This is our old shooting range. We piled up all those logs as a backstop. We probably didn't have to from where we shoot. We're actually shooting into the hillside. And uh, both of us are good enough shots that we don't go wild high. Then the tractor path goes up along the edge there. That leaning cherry tree is slated for firewood for the 24-25 year. Uh, my cousin and I will be getting that down some nice winter day. This whole thing used to be an old tractor path that my grandfather used to come around the property. He would come back in here and go all the way down to the corner of the lot and all the way up to the other stone fence which is the other side of the lot he would come in here and anything that was down he'd cut up and take in for his firewood and we're kind of doing that same thing although we have uh, you know, right here, quite a quite a mess to clean up, and uh, that's not exactly firewood there. That is just something that needs to be either hauled over into the woods a little better out of the way or burned. So we'll just have to see what happens when we get this far. I would love to have the path go the way Pop had it, all the way down to the corner, then along the lower stone fence. And then back up the hill and back around. We've got this much of it cleared and it was a lot of work. We'd have never gotten it done without the tractor. One of the things I have always wanted was to have a bench down here along this part of the stone fence. Got my spot all picked out. I went looking for benches in the spring and I just couldn't find what I had in mind. That's the spot where I want to put it. But I think what I'm going to end up doing is just getting one of those plastic Adirondack chairs or something and putting it down here. The idea was I always wanted to be able to sit down here and kind of look up at the house, just relax, do a little plotting and planning of what I want to do with the yard and the garden, maybe what I want to do with the house. I just thought it would be a nice place to come and rest and uh, enjoy the property.
down there that my great grandparents used to own that piece of property way back in the day but yeah this uh, this thing is coming down before it can leaf out again it would be a whole lot easier to clean up the brush to get it down before it leafs out Come on. And that's our Thanksgiving Day stroll. Sometimes I look around and I just kind of marvel that I get to live here. I'm back off the road, all the trees, I can do whatever it is I want to do. Don't have to worry about neighbors. And it's beautiful. Every season, it's beautiful. I just can't imagine living anywhere else. As they all say, thanks for watching. Please subscribe so I can improve my channel and catch you the next time around.